Good Friday morning, my precious brothers and sisters, June the 12th, 2015. Let's begin today from the book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, beginning at verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to uh, give you an update in a moment on my son, Christopher. But put on your whole armor of God. What's happened to my ministry, to my family, I believe is attack. Attack of the enemy evil evil darkness enemy attacks for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness spiritual wickedness spiritual wickedness in high places these are attacks on me for bringing the truth, spreading the gospel of Yeshua, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and attacks on my family, and attacks on this ministry here on YouTube and our ministry to the homeless. I do not have a big church. I don't have a mega church. Look at the mega, mega pastors in the world today. Do you think the enemy is on the attack of them? Their followers, multitudes, multitudes and multitudes of followers that will defend them, that will go after you and defend them at all costs. They place this pastor, this mega church leader up on a pedestal to the point where they will defend this preacher because it sounds like he looks good on the outside it sounds like he is preaching Jesus and salvation but look how they prosper look how they start out and then they prosper multitudes following them big homes big cars now I believe it is um, Creflo Dollar that one of the 95 million dollar jet and there was a big uproar over the whole thing when the news leaked out. Now his followers in the multitudes are seeing to it. They are going to get him this $95 million jet. What is wrong with the church? Where is the discernment? Where are your spiritual eyes? Why is there no prayer? And supplication, why do we not go to the Father and seek this discernment and seek this truth? Because we have too much religion. We put too much emphasis on the world and on the man in the suit and tie upon a pulpit. When we need to go to the Father in prayer and in supplication and praying for discernment to see what is hidden. To have it revealed and to be made manifest to you that you can see the darkness 
let me give you an update on my son, Christopher. Well, depending on the kind of insurance that you have, or lack thereof, determines, I, I guess, your stay in the hospital and how much treatment you do receive. My son, Christopher, was released from the hospital. Now, he is staying at uh, Christie's sister's house. She's a massage therapist. And there's a lot more room in their central air. And they have delivered now a hospital bed for Christopher to keep him comfortable. But the lack of insurance, I believe, plays a major, major part. Uh, he went uh, yesterday afternoon uh, to the neurosurgeon and they fitted him with a more comfortable brace or halo. I, I, I don't know the actual name. And the prescriptions are mounting. And he has copay, so you know we're doing the best we can to keep him comfortable. Rather, he go there where we can visit him and then come to here. It's just a, an old trailer and I do the best that I can. But I'm happy because I'm preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm preaching the truth. Christopher is going to try. I don't know when he is able to do a video and to thank all of you. And I thank each and every one of you for your prayers. It's the power of prayer. It's not about money. It's not about the, how big of an insurance plan you have. I have the best insurance and that is in Jesus Christ, the great physician that is healing my son, that saved his life. That's the power of an almighty loving God. That's the power of the blood of the cross. That's the power in the name of Jesus of Nazareth that has saved my son's life. I spoke with the uh, Tow truck driver and one of the uh, firemen that were on scene, and they really told me we didn't expect that this young man would have made it with the trauma and the injuries that he uh, has suffered. The fireman told me, he said, I do not understand. I've been doing this as my career, and you ca I can't tell you the things that I have seen. But a car that went rolled over and over and and into a ditch, and in that condition, he doesn't understand how that car did not explode and burst into flames. We serve a mighty, powerful, a powerful, powerful God, and I will praise His name on high. I don't care how many viewers or subscribers I have. I don't want multitudes. I would be worried. I don't want people to like me. I just want you to listen to the truth, the voice of truth. And it's not my voice. It's Almighty God. It's Yahweh. It's God the Father. It's Yeshua HaMashiach. It's Jesus, the voice of truth. And the enemy hates the voice of truth. He's not after the mega church leaders. He's not after the T.D. Jakes. He's not after the Creflo Dollars. He's not after the uh, Benny Hens and all of the likes. They're prospering. And maybe the congregation, the fellowship, and the building and multitudes, maybe they are prospering. But is it of God? Is it of God? They're becoming wealthy. The congregations and multitudes are following them. They're on television. They're holding mega, mega church uh, appearances everywhere with bodyguards. What is that? The gospel? Of Jesus Christ the devil's not trying to run interference they have not made the devil angry they have not made the devil furious but I have there is witchcraft right here on YouTube I'm gonna do a video about witchcraft on YouTube and I need you to watch this and to pay close attention as you know I call it as I see it I move as the Holy Spirit the Ruach HaGadosh moves me and I'm filled with the Spirit I'm filled with the Holy Ghost of God whether you know that or understand that or not I am filled with the Holy Ghost of God the Holy Spirit I have Yeshua I have Jesus dwelling within me and when I call out the darkness when I'm overcome by the Holy Spirit to move, knowing it's going to hurt this ministry here on YouTube, 
it's going to hurt our ministry to the homeless. The donations and the help and the food for the homeless and the clothing are not going to come in because people are not going to like what I have to say. But I say it because I'm moved to say it, to be a watchman on the wall for the Lord. And when I call out the darkness, that's when the enemy comes on the attack of me and my family going back to having health problems and severe sciatica and back pain. Going back to the only truck that we have when I call them out on YouTube and expose them for what they are. Knowing that the masses are not going to listen to me. But it's not about me. It's all about him and getting his word out and it's true. That hopefully you will seek the Father for this discernment. We lose our truck. Our only means of transportation for our ministry. It's gone. It had to be sent to the scrapyard. We've had one event after the other, and it's all tied in with attacks of the enemy. Put on your whole armor of God. My wife's vehicle that we were using, because we had no more vehicle for the ministry, her vehicle, the transmission goes out. $2,200 and some 90 some odd cents. And she finally got it back, but while my son was in the hospital, we had to borrow a vehicle just to get there to see him. Her transmission was not done yet. And forgive me, Father, because I'm only human. I was walking. I was in stress. Worried about my son, I was walking to the car. And the security, the security at uh, the hospital was following me. Do you need a ride to your car? I said, no, I'm fine. And they follow me. And I lean against the fender of the car. And I'm checking my phone, trying to reach my son. And they think and they believe that I'm trying to steal this car at 59 years of age. And I'm sorry, forgive me. But I have had a rough time and I was angry. I was furious at the security guard officer. I won't repeat what I invited him to step out of that car. But I was in distress over my son. One event after the other. And I pray for Father to forgive me. But it's been a rough ride and it's the enemy. And I have on my whole armor of God and I will not be moved. I will not be stopped. Ministry announcements. There has been nothing. Of, of course there's nothing coming into the ministry. We were blessed uh, by Samantha Davis and then everything. Was stopped. The enemy was furious. So don't feed the homeless. I'll see to it you don't feed the homeless. I'll see to it you can't get out to your ministry. You can't get out to Flint. You can't get out to Detroit. I will stop you. You will not stop me. I will not be stopped, devil. I will not be moved. I stand on the word of God. And I have my whole armor of God on. If you feel led to give to this ministry, I'll put the link below. I'm working on a video. Witchcraft on YouTube. If you feel led to give to this ministry, we need your help. And if you feel led to help with the uh, offset some of the cost of Christopher's medical care, which is astronomical, I'll put the link below. I'll be back.